everyone, welcome back. So, engagement sessions, is it worth having one? Do you really need to have one in the middle of your busy wedding planning schedule? Well, in this video, I will let you know about the pros and cons or the do's and don'ts of having engagement sessions. But before we start, let me introduce myself. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Jenny and I am a wedding photographer and a family portrait photographer based in Winchester, Hampshire in the UK. On this channel, I will be talking about wedding planning tips as well as camera gear reviews and sharing wedding video slideshows. So do please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you'll be the first to know when my next video comes up. So engagement sessions, do you really need to have one? Well, the answer is it depends. Now that might be a surprise to you because I am a photographer and I do offer engagement sessions to my wedding clients, but actually I don't do engagement sessions for every single one of my wedding clients. I only offer it as an add-on so they can have it if they want it. So if you're already comfortable in front of the camera or you have lots of photos of the two of you already, or if you're also comfortable with your photographer, then I don't think there's any need to have one. You can if you want to, but it certainly isn't a necessity. Or you might be too busy, or maybe uh, just you know, photos aren't that important to you, then by all means, don't have one. You don't need to have one. Any photographer worth their salt would be able to capture photos of you and your partner on your wedding day without having to have an engagement session. Just make sure that you've had a look through their portfolio and that you're happy with their style. Um, and if there's any kind of poses or um, images that you particularly like the look of, then make sure you have a conversation with your photographer so that they know that's something that you would like to have on your wedding day. And then I'm sure that you'll be fine without having an engagement photo session. Engagement sessions, why would you want to have one? Well, here are some reasons why you might want to have an engagement session. Okay, so point number one is that an engagement session is a really good time for a practice run so that you can trial out any poses that you may want to try out before your actual wedding day. So think of it as a practice run where you can try out any of the poses that you might want to before your actual wedding day. Now, this will also give you a chance to you know, see the photos afterwards, obviously, and then you can figure out whether uh, you feel comfortable doing a certain pose or if there are certain things that you don't like doing. And then on your actual wedding day, you can then concentrate on the things that you like doing. So if you're not confident in front of the camera or maybe you're slightly worried about what your wedding uh, couple session is going to be like on your actual wedding day, then an engagement session is absolutely a great opportunity to practice and to put your mind at rest as well. My second point is it's a good chance for your photographer and the both of you to get to know each other. So in the previous video that I did to this one, I was talking about the way I get natural, relaxed and romantic looking photos. Now, that's very much my style. I'll link the video down below so that you can watch it afterwards. Um, but in an engagement session, you'll find out how I actually get those uh, images. So you'll get to know how I work. And also at the same time, I'll get to know what your likes and dislikes are so that on your wedding day then uh, hopefully things will go a lot more smoothly and you'll get the images that you want. Point number three is that you will get some lovely photos of the two of you. So um, engagement sessions were traditionally taken just after you've got engaged so that there's plenty of time to actually use the photos for say your save the date cards. Now, obviously, that doesn't happen nowadays. You can have your engagement session at any time before your wedding day. So they're often called pre-wedding sessions now. But if you do have it early enough, then you can use the photos for your save the date cards or your wedding invitations. Also, 
I've known some people who've used their photos from the engagement sessions as displays for their wedding day. Point number four, an engagement session is a great time to reconnect with each other. Now, during your wedding planning, um, you might find that things get really hectic and sometimes it's actually nice to get away and uh, to go away for one hour and actually concentrate just on each other. Now, that's a lovely thing to do. So when you go on your engagement session, you're focused on each other. Um, I've said in my previous video as well, my main focus on the engagement day is for you to interact with each other. So although I am there during your engagement session taking photos, um, I'm always going to be getting you two to go off with each other and just reconnect and I'll be taking photos from a distance if needs be. So it's actually a lovely time to just get away and connect with each other again. Now my bonus tip is tip five. This actually just happened um, a few months ago and uh, basically what happened is that the engagement session took place just a couple of weeks before the actual wedding day and we held it at the wedding venue. Now the wedding venue had beautiful grounds and we had the opportunity to go around during their engagement session to take photos there. On the actual wedding day itself, unfortunately, it did rain um, and so the ground was very soggy and uh, muddy and we did not get to go out as we planned, which was a shame, but the couple still had their engagement session photos and so they still have the photos around the grounds. So that's kind of a bonus tip for having an engagement session, especially if you have it um, at your wedding venue and uh, you get to go around the grounds of your wedding venue. Please click like if these points are making sense to you. Also, please leave a comment down below if you've had an engagement session. Tell me how it went and if you are actually thinking of having an engagement session as well. Now, those are the reasons to have an engagement session. Now, there is a warning that I'd like to give you. There's one point I'd like to make um, about engagement sessions and why you should not have an engagement session. Now, you should not look at an engagement session as the blueprint for how your wedding couple session is going to go on your wedding day. The reason why I say this is that I don't want you to expect the exact same poses and the exact same thing to happen um, on your wedding day as it did on your engagement session. It can't be a blueprint because on your wedding day you're going to have a lot less time than you did on your uh, engagement session so everything is going to be condensed which is why it's a good thing to have an engagement session because then you can practice and just concentrate on those poses that you really want to do. The other thing, of course, is that it's going to be a different time of year, the weather's gonna be different, the light and the time of day is likely also to be different. So the photos and the images that you're going to end up with won't be exactly the same as the ones that you had on your engagement session. So other than that, as I said, I've given you some reasons why engagement sessions could be useful. Um, just let me know in the comments down below if you are going to have one. But that's going to be it for me, short and sweet this week. I hope you like it. Again, click the like button and do please share this with your friends or family if they are wedding planning. Okay, see you again next week. Bye! There's a helicopter, I can't believe, the only time I've got left to film and there's a helicopter going overhead, seriously. Just wait a while, it'll go. But it certainly isn't a, necess a necessity, bah.